Rule your own world. Welcome to the Kelsey Brewery, where we're gonna brew some beer right on up in here. Looks posh, isn't it? Hey, how are you doing? So we're not actually going to the beer bath place yet, we're going to the brewery. Jumped the gun a little bit, didn't we? Hey, so we skipped ahead. We're just walking over to the brewery now. We're gonna see how it all happens, where the magic happens, where they make beautiful beer. I'm excited to see this. I've never been to like a beer factory before. No, I, I don't care, I've either. We're drinking beer and we're swimming in it. <laughs> Just like your ultimate day out. It's pretty good, yeah. Are we going the right way? Yeah, I think so. Hopefully there's no electric fences this way. <laughs> I know if I got a bruise, I haven't checked it. <laughs> so is this the name of their beer then? Brug Schmidgen. No, it's Caldi, isn't it? Caldi? Yeah, it's not Oh you can smell it it smells like porridge. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Hello! Hi guys. Craig, what's your name? Siki. Siki, yeah. Craig, nice to meet you. And I'm nice Amy, to meet you. nice to meet you. Hi, welcome. We've got loads of certificates, just like me. Straight from the tap. Oh, wow. I'll just take your glass when you have enough. Oh, that's plenty for me. Straight from this massive tank. How is it? Cold, I bet. Really good. Is that good, really yeah? Good. It's really cold as well, yeah. Oh, so this is all the old barley then that gets filtered out from these tanks. Don't press nothing, don't break anything. That once they're done with the barley, then they just chuck it outside and all the farmers come and uh, feed their cows with it, which is real good recycling. Now you just calm yourself down there, son, okay? I ain't driving the whole way to the next stop. Someone said free beer, so I was like, I'm coming. She wants to give us a taste of the dark one now. Look at him, he's all over. He's got my glass as well. <laughs> taste and now you can tell because mm. I, I feel like it all tastes the same I'm not a great beer drinker yeah it's just more it's just like a tastier flavor in it yeah it's like it's kind of like fresh more hot so shut up do you know what you're <laughs> on about so uh King Nit is going to be officially discontinued you've lost us um, I'm going to be a tour guide for whale watching over in Iceland and uh, Craig's got a new job as a beer taster uh, over in Iceland as well. No, so, I'm um, going to be a master brewer. Oh, master brewer, excuse me. So, uh, King and it will be no more. <laughs> okay, thank you and good night. So the brewery is that way, and then this is their new beer spa. It's been, been over for 13 days, so it's brand new. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's oh, brand wow. spanking. So they've set up a beer bath for us after we've had our tour. And I think we've got more beer to come as well. Yeah. Oh, so I'm driving then, is it? It's all right. Super loving the decor in here as well. Listen to it. Yeah, really posh, isn't they? Don't destroy it now. There you are, look, the beer bath is extremely healthy for your skin and your hair. It also says that there's a beer draft right next to your bath, so um, I think Craig might get a little bit drunk. Just free beer, all you can drink. Here is a towel and a rope for you guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. And then we go into a dressing room. Get ready. And rock right through it, okay. and I will meet you there. Perfect. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Smells good too, doesn't it? Yeah. What? We even got the bubbles on the top as well. <laughs> so if you need something, just ring the bell. Okay. That will be here. Brilliant. Okay. Awesome. How good is this? This is so wicked. Like. <laughs> This place is amazing! It smells so good in there! Yeah, it's brown spanking as well. Yeah. I didn't realise. Craig was like, you can't wear bathing suit. I was like, what have I got to wear then? Nothing. You've got to go in a la nude. Come on then. Best part about this. Our own beer tap. Are you actually kidding me? Look at that. How is it? It's like extra warm. It's just like, it feels quite like greasy on your skin. I can imagine it being like really good for you. Well, it says it is, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, this is so relaxing now. I'm getting in as a timer. Okay. Um, 
Um, did you not hear the lady say that we need to get out now? So about to get out because it's absolutely boiling in there. I don't know what I was thinking when I was like, yeah, let's put the fur on the head. It'll look proper Icelandic. But uh, this kid, absolutely loving life. I don't think you're going to get out, are you? <laughs> Nothing, Craig. But she's going to be calling us in a minute and we're going to go up to the relaxation room, which is what I'm looking forward to. So we're done at the beer bath, now we're heading, we need to get some petrol, we've got one bar left and then we're heading to a place called Mavatan. Hopefully there's like hot springs there and waterfalls, so we've got another beastie drive. We were on route to Mavatan and we were just like, uh, there's a big sign there that says Gardafoss and we stumbled across it just like we did last time. And this is one of the coolest waterfalls in the north, so we're going to jump out and have a look. Gardafoss, you beauty! A nice jacket you got on, kid. Oh, yeah, it's full of mine, isn't it? I'm loving it. Loves a bit of Godafoss. What do you think of Godafoss then? I think Godafoss is the bee's freaking knees, Craig. I remember last time we came, it was one of my favourites. Brought a rubber ring last time, though, didn't I? You did. Feeling adventurous, I was. You nutter. Godafoss. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, though. No wonder it's got its name, like the pure gods of waterfalls. The power. Okay, we're back in the van already because it's bloody freezing and my chin's frozen again. But it's just unbelievable. We just, you look at the, the water and how much water flows off the edge, like, constantly. Like, where does it come from? I know it comes from, like, melted ice and that, but it's just one of nature's beautiful things, isn't it? And the colour, yeah, Amy says, it's like, super deep blue, mesmerising. You get, like, a real... You get a lot of energy after you've seen a waterfall. It does something to me. I like all the vibrations and that. And the... You pissed, yeah. <laughs> that was a good time though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Did we bump, just, just bump into it last time? Literally, it's massive. yeah. massive, like how can you even do that? Last time, I don't know what we were thinking. I don't know whether we had it on the itinerary or... We I'm were... pretty sure I would have put it in there. Don't diss my itinerary. No, I'm just saying, like, I thought we drove past it and we were like, oh, God of Oz is by there. And we were like, let's stop then. Can't remember. Can't remember. Either way, if you're in North Iceland, this is 100% a must. It's just unbelievable. Honestly. So powerful. They're all so different as well. Yeah, they got their little characters, their little personalities. They have. They have. <laughs> Mine's my favourite is still the layer cake, the wedding cake. Yeah, is that your favourite? Yeah. 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 So where are we going now then? Drive? Uh, we are now going to... Are we going to go to Detafoss or are we going to go to a hot cave? Check us out, options. I know, a massive waterfall or a super hot cave that you can swim in sometimes of the year, sometimes it's far too hot to get into. You can test that out. All right. Um, let's head to the cave, is it? Yeah, let's go to a hot cave. Finish the day with a bit of heat because it's been bloody freezing. Why don't we grab like a lilo somewhere and then make it real cool? We could sleep in there then. Always wants a lilo, this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so some people say you can swim here and others say you can't. I, I think it's like depending on what time of the year it is because sometimes it might be really hot. Okay, the sign says you can't swim. Let me just say what, I'll tell you what it says. So it says, it used to be popular, it's called Gragratagya. Wonderfully said. It used to be a popular bathing place for several decades and then in 19, between 1975 and 84, there was volcanic eruptions and it's now dropped but it's between 43 and 46 degrees do you know what temperature human body is supposed to be at in? is it like 39.1 or something 37.5 yeah it's close enough anything up or down in one degree then you either overheat or you freeze to death back over here anyway back to the cave go on you go first just in says, case somebody kills it says we're at risk of falling rocks 
You go in first, just in case I mean, he's like a madman. Pretty hens rock if they fall over. Go on. You'll rock. be fine. Whoa! Look how cool that is. Oh my god! Wow! Look at the colour of it. <gasps> That's like epic see-through. Really smells like egg. Dana, look how clear that water is. It, it feels so hot. Oh my god. I'm okay, all right, you take that camera. No. What's that noise? Are you for Jeff in real? This is like an enclosed space, Craig. <laughs> no. Behave oh. yourself, Lou. Touch it and have a see if it is actually really too hot. It looks piping. It does look really warm. But I'll dip my finger in over here. So watch where you're going, because I right. don't want you getting boiled alive. Okay. Oh. oh, it feels like perfect. Does it actually? I mean, yeah, but you said you're not allowed to go in, so. There's probably spots in there that is like gonna melt your face off though. I mean, that's like a really, really, really hot bath. Oh, it'd be amazing <laughs> though, wouldn't it? I'd love to get in there, but. I think we'll get told off, which is a damn shame. It is, because you need a wash. <laughs> but this is private land. It goes, it? you can't even tell, but it really goes all the way back further than there. Then she goes, Calamity Bannister. Oh, oh that is too, yeah, that's a little bit too hot, I think. You reckon? Yeah, I like my baths hot, but that's a little bit too hot. There's always one rebel. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're in though. Me too. Yeah. Holy cow, this is awesome. It is so cool, isn't it? Is the floor hot? No. No? No, I'm kind of just adjusting it. And yeah, like a bath, like you said. Okay, yeah. yeah. So where did John and Egret go? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That face pretty much says how we feel right now. It's been a beast. It's been a big day, haven't it? Yeah, it's been a big day. So we found another random spot. There's a bunch of other people pulled up here, like motorhomes and that, so... We're just like, we'll go in with them then. <laughs> Wait till we hear this in the morning. Get the f*** out of here. <laughs> so that is it for today's vlog. What a day, man. Who's how, Where else can you do that in one day? I know. Nowhere. So if you're brand spanking new, thanks so much for hanging around with us. Make sure you press subscribe, because there's so much more where that came from. And if you're not new guys, then thanks a bloody bunch for sticking with us, for hanging around with us, and for just being genuinely nice people. We really appreciate you. Always remember, always, always, rule your own world. One, two, three, bye! Um, did you not hear the lady say that we need to get out now? I'm in, I love. Don't call me love. <laughs>